Hello, my name is Dave Phillips. I'm Senior Global Product Technology Specialist for Clean Air for Thermo Fisher Scientific. And today we're gonna to talk about our new Thermo Scientific HairSafe 2030i Biological Safety Cabinet. This is a class two type A biological safety cabinet. And one of the first things you may notice is that instead of the buttons or keys that, that you often see with a safety cabinet, we have a touchscreen. A lot of these icons in the general interface is familiar. It's the same iconography that we use in some of our centrifuges and freezers and incubators to uh, make it easier for laboratorians to move from one device to another. So in this particular cabinet, we have auto start and auto stop. They're configurable. So if a, one particular user wants to have some things come on and some things not, they can have it set their way and another cabinet can be set another way. So I'm going to press and hold the auto start button. And then as the cabinet uh, hears that and begins to respond, we see the window open. Uh, when it reaches the proper height, it will stop. The internal light will come on and the fans will start up. And so everything for this particular configuration that needs to happen is happening and the cabinet is, is working. As we look at the display, we see that although the fans are operating, the airflow has not stabilized yet. Uh, so we see this representation of the air barrier at the front where the inflow and downflow come together, preventing anything from escaping the cabinet, as well as preventing anything from the room from reaching the work surface, uh, is still in flux. Uh, downflow is not ready, inflow is not ready. The window is ready because it's in the proper position. Now the airflow has stabilized. You see the air barrier is represented uh, with a gray dotted line showing that it captures the downflow air inside the cabinet before it escapes and captures air trying to reach the cabinet before it can get inside. One way to evaluate cabinets is the four C's, uh, containment, comfort, convenience, and cost. So containment, this cabinet has SmartFlow Plus. It's an enhancement to our, our intelligent compensation system. It is a fully independent system that monitors the flow through the downflow and through the inflow and will adjust fan speed to maintain the proper velocity. It has Dave Plus, an enhancement to our flow monitoring system, where now instead of monitoring the pressure drop across the filters as a indicator of flow, which is good, uh, it actually monitors the flow through the motors, which is even better as it's independent of the filter loading. And then the, the last thing I wanna talk about for containment is UV plus. The germicidal effect of the UV is a function of two things. It's a function of the time of the exposure and the intensity of the exposure. Now over the life of the UV bulb, the intensity actually decreases by 20%. And up to now, they've had to adjust the time themselves or, or set up an initial frequency assuming the loss. But with this cabinet, it will track the age of the bulb and automatically adjust the exposure time to maintain that same exposure dose as a part of your disinfection cycle. Comfort or ergonomics. This is probably the most ergonomic cabinet from an enjoyable aspect. It has transparent side walls, so it's a much more open feeling as you work within the cabinet. Sometimes this is very helpful in teaching application. It has a motorized window, so it's very easy to raise and lower the window. It has our over-the-grill armrest that provides ergonomically supported reach into the work area. We have an indented work tray. And on this unit, we actually have disposable uh, gel pads. Uh, there, You can wipe them down on a regular basis for disinfection. But then every so often, you can actually replace them and put new pads uh, in place to make it more comfortable to, to use the armrests. For convenience, we have the smart port for the safe passage of data cables and sampling tubes, power cores into the cabinet through the sides. We see two media ports uh, on each side and then three more in the back. The ones in the back can be connected to from the top of the cabinet so you don't have to use up uh, kind of the valuable side area. Sometimes cabinets are, are pretty close to walls or other equipment so you, getting access to the sides can be difficult. As far as cost, this is even more energy efficient than before. We have a 35% less energy consumption in operating mode and 20% less energy consumption in the standby mode. But really this cabinet adds a fifth C and that's communication. In the past, 
cabinets can be difficult for some users to understand. If there's an airflow alarm or a window position alarm or something else, and even more so what they needed to do in response to that. With the touchscreen, we're able to have full text error messaging and uh, alert messaging. And let me show you what that means. So I'm gonna really disrupt the airflow by blocking essentially the entire front of the grill. And when the alarm goes off, because we're doing such a relatively catastrophic things, a lot of alarms will happen. So uh, you'll see with every different alarm, the alarm will resound even after I snooze. Uh, but I want, I want you to see the, fl the full text messaging and how helpful that can be to the user. So I'm gonna hit snooze to silence the audible part. The visual alarm is still signaling. It's saying low downflow alarm, potential for reduced sample protection and it's scrolling across and it's saying reduced risk and restart fans and if the error persists to call uh, service. So it, it's telling you uh, how to respond to, to the problem. Now I'm going to remove the papers to, to bring it back. And we'll see at this point, you know, the, the fans kind of sped up to compensate for my paper catastrophe. Uh, so some of the velocities may go too high. And so here we have the inflows too high. And again, it's gonna to explain to me uh, what the potential consequences for that. We see it also represented in this icon here uh, where it's showing that the air barrier is compromised. And so uh, the, the user needs to think about are there hazardous materials they should perhaps contain before they can escape from the cabinet? Is their uh, product or work at a point of particular vulnerability where they may want to protect from particles coming in from, from the room environment through the front opening? But this is a marked contrast to the cabinets of old or the more traditional interface where you just got a sound and a, and a, and a particular light uh, indicated. The language of this is configurable and you can also select the units that are most familiar to you, whether imperial or, or metric. One of the enhancements for communication with this cabinet is this is a cabinet with a memory. We have an event log where it actually remembers uh, what things have happened, what events have happened, and also every five minutes or so, it notes what the status of the cabinet is. For instance, we're going to look at the event log and I'm going to press the icon. And here we see uh, the status uh, one minute ago. Uh, we had downflow at 63 feet per minute, inflow at 106 feet per minute, and the operational state was in the safe working mode. Uh, back when I had the alarms, at 11.05, I had a high inflow with a high downflow alarm. It also gives you a reproduction of that ticker message saying, uh, here's what's going on, and recommends uh, it actions for the, for the users to take. But the advantage for this is that if there's a, a, an incident or a service incident with the unit and you call in the service engineer and you're trying to determine exactly what caused that alarm to go off, you can actually go back to the event log and see. Another advantage of the event log is it's exportable. So for those facilities that have uh, regulatory requirements where they need to monitor and record uh, the events that happen with the equipment that they're using, uh, you can actually export the log into a USB memory stick on a periodic basis. This full text messaging is encompassed in that language selection. So not only will it tell you in English, but you can have it set for Spanish or French or any one of the other languages that are set up in the cabinet. Now we're going to turn off the cabinet and we're going to use auto stop. Remember auto stop is that uh, allows us to configure which aspects of the cabinet turn off, whether I want the receptacles to be de-energized, de whether I want the fans to turn off or have the UV on. So in this case, I'm gonna press and hold the auto stop button. And in a few seconds, it'll notice, it'll begin lowering the window. And as the window gets to the closed position, uh, the, the, the fans will shut down. Uh, it also has turned off the internal light and we're stopped. With the motorized window in the closed position, we can see Smart Clean Plus. With the window closed, we can raise the frame out, and this gives us 100% access into the cabinet working sample chamber. Uh, so we can easily uh, wipe the sides, back, and work surface. If we have large equipment that we're, we're removing or replacing within 
uh, the, the cabinet or we need to make adjustments, we can do that very easily and then close the window and use the cabinet again. This is a relatively uh, unique feature that gives you very nice access uh, into the cabinet work area. One other thing I wanted to mention, there's so many things to mention, but is this information key. Each screen has an information icon, and if you press it, it will explain what the particular screen is uh, addressing, what choices you have, and what's the best way to use it. That also is language sensitive, so if you've selected a language other than English, you'll find that information uh, with you. So uh, 10 years after, uh, you, uh, after the, the 2030i has entered your lab, you'll have access to the same instructions you had when you knew where the manual was. This is a very interesting cabinet. It has advancements both in uh, containment, comfort, convenience, and cost, and it's at a fifth C of communication. It's much more effective at working with the laboratorian, letting the laboratorian know how the cabinet is working, and let the laboratorian configure the cabinet and its use to their liking. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.